Hello LEGO fans, welcome back to my channel, Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing a more modern set from the year 2021, set number 75312, the Slave One, oh, I mean Boba Fett Starship. This set came with 593 pieces and retails for $50. Alright, so here is the set and its minifigures all put together. As you can see, it looks like a Slave One, although they did downsize it from the last model because in like 2021 they decided to downsize a bunch of sets but here is the model this is what it looks like and there are the minifigures that are included in the set as you can see there are two and then there's this exclusive carbonite stickered piece which is kind of a minifigure but i will review those later before i get to play features i wanted to show that there are actually two different parts of the build so first off there is the slave one or boba fett starship and then there is this maintenance cart which just looks like a throw-in that Lego put in just to make, you know, the set more expensive. But it's so much more than that. If you take the Slave 1 and you put it like this on the back, and make sure the ladder is hooked in right under this green piece. It works as a display stand, which is really cool for such a cheap set that it includes this display stand like that. It's actually really good. There are also way more play features than just this cart. So if we take the cart away and just look at the ship, there are many play features here to be discovered. So the first one is these guns can actually swivel to like aim at different targets. They're pretty loose though. And there's also some stud shooters on the front that you can launch just like spring-loaded shooters. And there's also the cockpit, which I'll grab the Boba Fett main figure. And you can take off this gun make him sit and he sits he sits in many different ways in the ship but what you're supposed to do is put him like that right there and then fold the cockpit down and then he's like flying in the ship it's really weird though because he doesn't the control panel for the ship is all the way over here like right there and he can't control it when he's sitting like this so i found out you can also like put him in like that for when it's on the ground, which I think looks pretty cool. You can still close it. And that's another way to put them in there. Another play feature is, well, this this works sometimes, but these wings are supposed to be, like, weighted, so when it goes up into flight mode, they go with the ship. It works sometimes. It works better with this side for some reason. But you see they kind of move with the weight of the ship, which I think is pretty cool. Another play feature this thing has is it has this ramp thing or little compartment and I'll get the carbonite minifigure thing and you can slide that in to the ship just like they did with Han Solo in the movies and then close it and then it flies off with the carbonite that's pretty cool another thing you can do with the carbonite is if I grab the maintenance cart you can use this to transport the carbonite and then you can put your Boba Fett minifigure on the maintenance cart I'm not really sure how he's supposed to go on this, but he kind of operates it. I think he's supposed to go backwards. It's really strange. But anyway, this is supposed to ship the carbonite to the ship. So that's all the play features it has. Now, one feature the ship has that isn't really a play feature, and it isn't really a display feature, is it has a handle in the back, which is really strange for a set this size to have a handle, because I don't know if you really need it, because it's, it's not that big, you can kind of just grab it. But it does have a handle in the back, which is kind of nice. Now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. It's minifigure time, baby. Well, anyway, here's the Mandalorian minifigure that comes in the set. Now he's nothing really special. I mean, he is. he does have his Beskar armor, which is really cool. I do like that a lot. But it's basically the normal Mandalorian we've gotten. Except he does have his spear, which is really just a basic spear, just kind of shiny. And he comes with a gun, just kind of random. But anyway, if you take off his helmet, it's blank, which I do not like. Because this is season two Mandalorian, end of season two. His, his face gets revealed at the end of season one. Like, they could have put his face print in here. Like, it's not a secret anymore. And also, another problem with his head. He has, he has lots of problems with his head, guys. His helmet, do you see the black... The black bar thing that's his visor thing it's really low it's supposed to be up here but it's all the way down here which is inaccurate 
and I don't like that very much. But other than that, he has arm printing, which is very nice, and he has leg printing, no foot printing. And just one more thing, also kind of has to do with the head area, is in the recent sets we've gotten with Mandalorian in him, he either comes with a cape or a jetpack, never both. And I think if they included both of them in one set like this, it just looks so much more accurate and so much better. Like, I just like this look a lot better. Oh gosh. I just think it looks a lot better. Like, look at that. It, it doesn't really damage the cape or anything. It just, it'd be a much needed improvement to this minifigure. All right, so here is the Boa Fett minifigure. And I think that at first glance, he seems really detailed. As you can see, he has good torso printing and leg printing. He doesn't have any foot. Actually, he does. It's just really hard to see if you look really closely. Here. You can see he has some foot printing, which is super cool. It's not really anything much, but it's super cool. Very detailed arm printing and all that. Although, there are, is a big problem with this minifigure. And that problem is the color of his jetpack and his helmet. As you can see, his torso is green, dark green, and his helmet and his jetpack are like this teal green, like kind of like what we see in the older Boa Fett minifigures. And in the show, it's supposed to be dark green. That's way more accurate. But other than that, his headpiece is super cool. It has all his scarring, and on the back, it also has more scarring, and this is kind of what we see in the Sh Book of Boa Fett show, too, and The Mandalorian. It's very accurate, and I think other than the inaccuracy of the color of the jetpack and the helmet, it's a pretty detailed minifigure. I just wish they would change that in the future. Last minifigure-like thing in this set is this Gamorrean Guard in Carbonite piece. I have two problems with it though. The first is, why is this sticker? This would be such a cool print to have. Like, I feel like this is just Lego trying to be cheap. I mean, this would be such a cool print. It doesn't have anything on the back though, but another problem with it is, I understand why they had to do this, but with the new Carbonite pieces, they're super small. They're not supposed to be this tiny. They're supposed to be like big. Like I know there was one in the UCS version, but I, I know that's a UCS set that was pretty big. And I just feel like these would look so much better if they were bigger. I understand why they had to do this so it would fit inside the little loading dock thing, but I just wish it was a bigger piece. Right, so now it's time to talk about unique prints and stickers. So this set actually has a lot of stickers on it, and some of the most notable are the three right here. So these are supposed to like represent a big green stripe down the middle, and I really don't like that because as you can see, there's like gray peeking through right here and right here. And it's supposed to be one continuous color, and it's hard to represent that with stickers, so it just, it kind of looks weird having the gray peek through, knowing it's supposed to be continuous. And there's also some stickers right here on the red, on the side to show, like, damage to the ship, which I think makes it look pretty good. And another example of stickers on the set are at the top, there's these two stickers which I was not sure what they were supposed to be at first, but I think it's supposed to just represent a dark gray stripe, but they're really small, so it kind of just looks weird, and they're kind of hard to apply correctly. And that is all the stickers on the set. And the only print I can find is the control panel on the ship, which is a very common print, so it's not exclusive. And those are all the prints and stickers on the set. Another thing I want to address is weak parts or parts that tend to fall off when playing with the set or storing it. And the one I noticed that fall off the most frequently are these front gun pieces. They're just so loose. They fall off all the time. It's kind of annoying. Like just these two, they just, they're always, whenever I store it, I always find them falling off. That's pretty much it except for maybe on the cart piece these two little joystick control things come off sometimes but that's that's pretty much it it's a pretty sturdy set so how accurate is this set to what we see in the show well i think it's really accurate the only thing that's not accurate about it is the boba fett headpiece and jetpack and the size it's a little too small but that's not really a problem that's what they were going for I guess it's a downsized set. So I think it is really accurate to what we see, except for the minifigures. Another thing I want to address with this set is its looks. Does it look cool? 
Well, I think it does look cool as a display model, except for being a little smaller than the other Slave ones, but that's what they were going for. I think it looks fine. I think that the only real problem with its looks is this big gap that you can see right here with the window piece, the cockpit piece, and the bar. It looks kind of strange, but I think that's the only problem with the set's looks. Alright, so something you might be curious about is the price per piece for this set. So this set retails for $50 plus tax, but we're just going to take the $50. And the price per piece for this set is around 8.4 cents per piece. So that's pretty good, actually. That's less than 10 cents per piece. So I think this is actually a pretty good deal. There are some bigger parts, like these slope pieces on the sides are bigger parts. But I think it's a really good deal for what it is. Right, so now it's time for my personal opinion. So my personal opinion on the build is it's really good. I really like it because I don't have another Slave 1 and I think it's just a great set to be like displayed on its own without another Slave 1. So like if you didn't have a Slave 1 this would be good for you but if you already had one I don't know why you'd buy this. Okay and another thing is the minifigures. I do not like the minifigures at all. Two minifigures for a $50 set I mean at the time of release one of them was exclusive but now with the Book of Boba Fett sets both of these are not exclusive. The only thing exclusive is that Carbonite piece, which is a sticker. And that's just super annoying. I wish they would not do that. I wish they would make that a print. And I guess one thing that's not great about the set and something they could have done better is the window gap on the set. And another thing I noticed about my set is that this ladder piece right here, oops, when you are displaying it, it kind of puts a lot of pressure on this piece and I've noticed it started to bend. I, it might be hard to see here. I think I replaced my ladder piece because mine was bending so much. It's really bad for the ladder piece. I mean, I don't know what they could have done differently, but it puts a lot of pressure on that and I don't think that's very good. And another thing is that these gun pieces, which are still disconnected from the set, are very weak. And I think they should have been stronger because it is very easy to knock those off. So overall, I'm gonna give this set a seven out of 10. If you're buying it for the build, which you will be because there's no exclusive minifigures, it's probably like a nine out of 10, but with those minifigures just bring it down so much. So seven out of 10, it's an okay set, but the build is really good. All right, so there you have it guys. That's my review of set number 75312, Boba Fett Starship, not to be confused with the Slave One. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.